a gift to have the ability to visualize, to see and plan things that do not exist. Applying this ability to turn an interior space into an agreeable and effectual setting to carry out a range of activities forms the core of interior design. Interior design tends to lean heavily towards creativity than geometry. While an architect is a structural engineer in charge of planning the construction of the building, interior designer is concerned with the functional environment of the establishment. A good interior designer can take an absolutely hopeless place and turn into something charming and comfortable. What interests me is the business aspects of interior design that is taught by the university. We are taught how to determine the client's goals and requirements, to create a timeline for the project and also to account for expenditures. We arrange for renowned industrial experts to lecture our students. And also, we bring in manufacturers to talk about their products and their specifications so that students can incorporate in the design process. During the course, technical know-how and art is taught hand in hand so that students develop an appropriate vocabulary of design, helping them better express their ideas to their clients. At present, there is a substantial need of qualified professionals in India as the demand is more than the availability of qualified designers. Students are taught to integrate the design process with the material finishes and its specifications like colors, flooring, fabrics, furnitures, lighting and other materials to create a useful and a stylish interiors. It is interesting to learn and work on different settings. For example, the setup of a cinema theatre requires a completely different approach than that of a hotel lobby. You get to develop an eye for identifying and addressing the design issues. The scope of application is practically limitless with offices, homes, airport terminals, shopping malls, restaurants and all other establishments needing functional, safe and pleasing interior designs. Students are also trained to manage their own projects and oversee the workers like the carpenters, electricians and artisans. Both studio and academic classes emphasize hands-on learning. Studio classes are supplemented with class lectures, presentations and seminars. The program is validated by Birmingham City University, which offers an international curriculum that ensures students are trained in best industry practices. advantage that this aspect grants is that all the information that the students receive are industry relevant and up to date. Birmingham Institute of Art and Design is pleased to be working with ICANT on delivering a whole range of art, design and media programs. ICANT as one of the most prestigious institutions of design education in India is delivering a action-based uh, curriculum based on learning through doing. Students have an opportunity to develop professional skills, creative thinking and analyse problems which will impact on creative delivery in the 21st century. We have great faculties here at HiCat. They are not only educators but practitioners in their field as well. So we just don't get trained in theory but what happens in the real world out there making it an enjoyable experience.